Are you crazy? Because I know I am, and this is Card Fight Crazy. In this video, I have a Legion deck profile. Star Vader, Dark Zodiac. Four Dark Zodiacs. These are Legion. These are main unit of this deck. It's got a great skill. Counterblast 1, when this unit Legion, you may pay the cost. If you do, Omega Lock, all cards that are locked. And his act skill is a Persona Blast of any unit that's on the Vanguard Circle. So you can do it before Legion or after Legion. And it's choose a unit in your opponent's front row and back row and lock them. So if you have the two Dark Zodiacs in your hand, you ride one, pitch one, lock two, then you can Legion. Counter Blast and Omega Lock them. Along with Dark Zodiac to help the locking once we get to the Grade 3 is Star Vader Infinite Zero Dragon. A break ride, your Vanguard gains 10k, and you choose a unit in your opponent's front row and back row and lock it. Break ride, front row, back row, lock it. Pitch, front row, back row, lock. Legion, Omega Lock the form. The starter, Star Vader, Brave Fang. When an attack hits during the battle of that, that unit boosted a. If you have a Vanguard in Legion, you may pay the cost of putting him into your soul. If you do, choose two of your opponent's lock cards, up to two, and Omega Lock them. So they can't lock at the end of their next end phase. We got a whole nother turn. Four heals. Because healing is nice, and it's legion, you can return them. Four draws, because you gotta draw your Dark Zodiacs. And if you're still sitting on Dark Zodiac, then you need to draw Astro Rebirth. You need to draw something so you can lock. And you gotta get those specific Persona units to lock them. Eight criticals. Four no chameleons and four paradigm shifts. Star Vader no chameleon, just a critical trigger. Star Vader paradigm shift, act once per turn. Put this unit on top of your deck if you have a vanguard with Star Vader in its card name and your opponent has a locked card. Choose up to one of your opponent's rear guards in the back row and lock it. Note that paying the cost is completely independent from the ability to lock. Four perfect guards, one of which is a sunny, and three of which are Prometheums. I only have the uh, three Prometheums, so one sunny. It doesn't matter. There's no G or anything. I mean, there's there's two stride units, but. The main focus is to just be a Legion deck. Prometheum, Star Vader, Perfect Guard. Three copies of Lanthanum. When your opponent's unit is locked, it gains 2k until end of turn. So if you do the Break Ride and the Persona Blast in that one turn, and he's on the field for all four of them, gains 8. Two copies of Eclipse Star Vader Charcoal, Limit Break Remover. There's a break ride in here, so the Limit Break Remover is useful for getting that off earlier. Especially if you just want to ride Infinite Zero or over Infinite Zero. Two copies of Neon. If you have a Star Vader Vanguard, it's a 10k attacker. Two copies of Budoman. Retire Burrowman at the end of your turn if you have a grade 3 Vanguard with Star Vader in its card name and your opponent has a locked unit. You may pay the cost. If you do, choose one unit, choose one grade 3 from your deck with infinite in its card name and ready to rest. It's a way to break right at the end of your turn. Especially uh, if you broke road at the beginning of your turn too. to just lock down the field. One copy of Palladium. Counterblast one and put this unit into your soul. During your opponent's end phase, when a card goes to unlock, you may pay the cost. If you do, lock that unit. 
Another one of, in grade two, is Cold Death Dragon. Counter blast one when this unit is placed on rear guard. If you have a Link Joker Vanguard and your opponent has a locked card, you may pay the cost. If you do, your opponent chooses one of his or her rear guard circles and puts the top card of their deck face down, locked, onto that rear guard circle. Three copies of Radon, 12k attacker. And you have a Stargard of Vanguard. Three copies of Krypton, 10k base. And four copies of the Legion Mate, Star Vader, Astro Reaper. Astro Reaper has a skill that when this attack hits a Vanguard, you may Soul Blast one. If you do, look at the top five cards of your deck for a unit that is on your Vanguard circle, reveal it to your opponent, put it into your hand, shuffle your deck. So you can do this to reveal an infinite if you're sitting on infinite. Or you can do it to reveal, if you haven't legioned yet, you can do it to reveal a Dark Zodiac. And if you have legion, you can search for Dark Zodiac or Astro Reaper. And though it is a legion focus deck, there are two G units. And I'll probably list this as a legion card fight. I just want to show them because sometimes they'll be used. And that's Quintessence Dragon. Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, when this unit is placed on Vanguard. If you have a heart card with infinite in its card name, you may pay the cost if you do. Choose an opponent's rear guard in the front row and back row and lock them. If you have four or more damage, then I'll make it lock them. And this was my Dark Zodiac deck profile. I'm Joey. This is Card Fight Crazy. Hope you're crazy too.